DigiKey and Adafruit present. This week, T. Yep. All right, Lady Ada, what is the NPI of this week and who's from? I'm so glad that you asked. Well, this week's uh, NPI is from TE Connectivity. We've actually done uh, quite a bit with TE sensors. We stock a few of their sensors, the humidity and barometric pressure and temperature sensors. Um, we even did a really cool project with TE and DigiKey where we documented the way that their sensors are used in race cars. Um, so uh, check out if you go Google and, and search for um, T, DigiKey, and Adafruit um, all in one word. I can't remember the exact URL, but uh, you'll be able to pull up the video and you'll be able to see me check out uh, Formula E race cars and talk to some TE engineers about uh, how they fit sensors inside of them. But we're not talking about that today. Today we're going to uh, take a dip in the pool thanks to a new sensor from TE. It's the MS5839. Let's take a look at it. This is what it looks like. Uh, so this is a pressure sensor that is designed to be used in chlorine environments. So it's not just you know waterproof or water resistant, it's also chlorine resistant, which is important because chlorine is what's not only in pools, but in the ocean uh, and uh, you know lakes and rivers even sometimes. Uh, and it, was it is what causes corrosion of sensors. It can really damage them. Okay, so let's look inside this sensor. Um, so the photo on the, sorry, the, the exploded image on the left shows how the sensor is put together. Um, there's the ceramic substrate and then, um, you know, the CMOS ASIC, that's the actual I squared C conversion ADC part, the MEM sensor, which is, you know, a resistive uh, element. Then there's a, a sealant on top of that and it goes inside of a metal housing and the metal housing you can see has like a groove in it. Uh, so you can use an O-ring with this sensor, which I really like. And on the right, you can see how the sensor, um, you know, you basically want to use an O-ring and kind of pop it into a hole into, um, you know, it doesn't have to be used underwater. It can be used as shown here, like, you know, in a place in a pipe where there's some chlorine gas and you want to measure the pressure inside that pipe. Um, but you can have chlorine exposure and wetness exposure and the sensor will be fine. Um, okay, so next up, um, you do need the O-ring. It doesn't come with it. Um, the O-ring is what gives you the sealant so that um, the water or the gas doesn't leak into the rest of your assembly. Um, but thankfully, they uh, give you the exact specifications of the hardness and the diameter, so that's good. Um, what you see these sensors um, often used for, and this is an image of a fully assembled version of the previous one of the MS5837 uh, is underwater UAVs, like robots um, that go underwater. And they often have to, you know, to, to know how deep they are, they measure the water pressure. Um, and so this is like a fully assembled version of uh, the non-chlorine safe version of the sensor. And you can see it's kind of epoxied inside of this uh, hollow bolt. And then the connection wire goes out the back with power ground. Uh, data and clock, and then you attach this into um, your robotic element, and you, you add O-rings where the screw goes into the body of your rover. So that's what this is good for. Um, the data sheet has some interesting documentation. They actually show how they tested it. Uh, they did 40 cycles of submerging in a chlorine solution, um, then drying it out for uh, 18 hours, and then dipping it back in for six hours. And they showed that, you know, even after 40 dips, 40 cycles, there was um, no failure and no change in um, the, the output or the measurements or capabilities. Whereas you see on the very left, there's that like black blue line that's like spiking up. That's if the sensor doesn't have the uh, protective element inside with the, the gasketing and the, um, the potting inside. Um, one thing to note is that, like most pressure sensors, uh, this sensor has a range of 300 to 1200 millibar. Um, and that basically will not, it actually doesn't take you very deep because most altimeters are actually meant to um, work at lower pressure. Like they have a better low range and a high range. 
because they're expecting you to go up a mountain and they're like what well, we do to altitude above sea level they're usually not that great below sea level so this sensor is spec to 300 220 uh, sorry to 1200 um millibar and that's that's only about two meters um, below sea level, it seemed, in, in water, right? Because you're going to have higher pressure. But this sensor um, can be used in extended range. So if you're using it in extended range, you can see that when you get beyond 300 and 1200 on this graph to the right, it can go up to 2000, but you're just going to get error. You're going to get, um, you know, a couple percent error. The error isn't that large. You know, it's maybe 10 max maybe eight max millibar out of uh, 2000 so it's not bad but just be aware you're not going to get like that like wonderful two centimeter precision um the deeper you go and a 2000 millibar when i looked it up that gave me a depth of 10 meters so um it's good for you know dive watches swim watches uavs that are going into like a lake or a river or an ocean or a pool um but this isn't going to be for something that does like deep ocean dives Okay, where can they get it? I'm glad you asked. Uh, you can pick up a whole bunch of them. Looks like DigiKey got a couple thousand in stock. Uh, all you have to do is search for MS5839. You can go to this short URL if you don't want to type out the full part number. It's available in Cut Tape, uh, DigiReel, and Tape and Reel. Okay, and there's a short video, so let's uh, watch it. Yeah. And check that out on DigiKey. Uh, little tip on all pages on DigiKey, there's a little short URL button now. And uh, that'll help you. This one, it's digikey.com slash short slash ZBJV19. On Sundays, now we have Desk of Lady Ada. You'll see some of the DigiKey search tips and more. And that is INMPF of the week. All right, thank you. Hi, on MPF.